This lesson is going to cover cell movement. And so the basic structure on the smallest level that is involved in cell locomotion involves the microtubules and the microfilaments, which are just rods and filaments that are super tiny that are made up of proteins. And so um, the cilia and the flagella, which are the most common ways that cells move around, are composed of these microtubules and microfilaments. So first let's look at the cilia. Cilia are short little hairs covering the cell surface. As you can see in the little picture that I drew on the side. And these are used um, obviously for a couple different things. But the way that these hairs move is in a wave-like motion. So that's how they move on the surface of the cilia, but they can also be used to move the organism. You know, just kind of like a little centipede moving along. And then some other things that these little cilia can be used for is feeding because it can carry the food to the organism's mouth. What we'll call its mouth. So if like there's a little piece of food over here, the cilia can take it and move it in its wave-like motion until it gets to where it needs to go. So that's another function of the cilia. And finally, absorption because they have an increased surface area because each of the little hairs we have all the area down the one side as well as down the other side so that helps increase the surface area so we can increase the absorption and then the flagella is a long projection And when something has a flagella, it usually only has one or two. Whereas the cilia, obviously, there is a lot more than that because they're covering the entire cell surface. And the movement of a flagella is whip-like. So the little flagella can whip back and forth to propel the organism as its means of locomotion. So these are the two different ways that cells can move about.